I am a net setter. <laughs> Every day I'm not at sea, I'm here. We used to call the people who used to do these the shore captains. Shore captain, they would call them. And they're the people, the older ones who didn't go fishing so much now, and they would do this, do the nets and the loft work. I'm usually down here about a quarter to twenty past six. And I usually finish about three, four o'clock. So it's a long old day. A long old day. But I enjoy what I do. <laughs> If you go back in Snows, well, quite a few years ago, it was a, quite a few of these buildings. Now this one is the last one. If this one goes, that's it. There is no more. And it's been a wonderful relationship over the years with the artist and the fisherman. As I say, the fishermen have had, had the bottoms and the artists have had the studios. And it's been, well, well over a hundred years, and I think it would be a, a great, great shame because they're wonderful atmospheric places, and they should be kept because they're not museums; they're worked in. Snives was built on the pilchard industry. And the place we're in now is the was the old cooperage where they used to make the barrels. One of the lofts next door was the salt cellar, where they used to keep the salt. And the big loft in there where the tanks are is where they used to preserve the fish, pack the fish and send them, put them in barrels and send them off, well, basically more to Italy than anywhere. I know the pipes of the columns in next door, they came from the old tin mines. They were iron pipes that they used to pump the water out from the mines because the mines were very very wet but of course like everything else now there's no pilchard so they're now used as hot fishermen's lofts and the top parts are used as artist studios You know, these, as I say, they're not museums. People, people still work and earn a living in these sort of places. They've certainly de deteriorated within in the last few years. I must be honest. Yeah, they have. If there's no history, there's no future as far as I'm concerned. People got to learn, or must, must learn, what happened years ago to realise what their grand grandfathers and great-grandfathers actually had to do years ago to make a living. And I think if you lose your, your, your culture, you lose everything. 